We've got a killer Chevelle today. This is a 1972 W code. The W is right in the VIN number, which designates it was born a 454, which more than likely means it was an SS originally. The motor under the hood is built to LS6 specs. I got a stack of receipts. This thing is air conditioning, cow induction, got a four speed, got a posi. And if you haven't noticed, it's fathom blue. This is a really desirable Chevelle. Why don't you join me and let's go for a spin. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can find a price tag on every one of the cars along with a monthly finance option as well. Now, speaking of price tags, this one is priced uh, considerably less than a perfect car would be. Um, I have one on our website that uh, is near perfect, and it's uh, well over you know, the six-figure mark. This is well under the six-figure mark. Keep in mind how uh, desirable of a car it is, all the options it has, the colors. It's a good, clean, solid car. It functions really well. Matter of fact, I just bought a four-car collection from a gentleman. Uh, this was his. He'd owned this car 22 years. Um, nice car. Not perfect. And what I mean by that, let's start with the body. The body's excellent. He believes it's all the original panels. I looked underneath. It's clean. This is all nice, clean, straight, lines up, not rusted, not damaged. Quarter panels right down under the bottom here nice and clean the rockers are smooth and clean lines up square all this is all nice no issues here the roof is straight door shuts real nice as the sport mirrors all this looks great all clean i don't see any rust or damage as the actual cow induction with the flapper door actually lines up really good it's not too often you see a chevelle where this lines up on both sides. This one lines up really well. It has the racing pins. So the body so far is really excellent. Nothing to apologize for here. All clean, straight, lines up. Don't see any rust or damage. All nice and clean, straight, good metal. The blue paint is beautiful. Matter of fact, it's just a two year old paint job. It's gorgeous. Uh, the metal flake is laid out evenly, so it's all one color. It's not blotchy and has a clear coat that's really nice and glossy. Now, here's where some imperfections come. And a, a light wet sand would bring it up to another notch, but there's just a little bit of textures, a little bit of dust in the paint here and there. It's not scratched up or beat up. It just has some imperfections, little, little divots. And I'm being fussy. Sometimes people leave comments like, oh, it's got a nick or oh, this. I'm being fussy. The way these cars are usually described to me is, oh, it's perfect. Uh, and I'm not going to be the guy to stand here and tell you it's perfect. Uh, but it's beautiful. It really is. The white stripes are painted on. They look like they're done accurately. Uh, so in my opinion, the paint is gorgeous. Oh, here's two little chips. Something must have bumped it right there. Oh, door didn't close. So it's no vinyl top, fathom blue, white stripes, highly desirable. The windshield looks crystal clear like it's new. It does have tinted glass. Now we service our cars. We spent about 1600 bucks on this one. The window tint guy came out and I think he retinted this window because it was peeling off. The rest of it looked real good. Up front, the bumper, I'm sure, has been re -chromed. It looks new. Actually, the marker lights, bezels, grill, emblems, all this up here looks beautiful. It's all real nice. SS 454 emblems are sparkling. Uh, the correct wheels, there's a little scuff or mark, so they look really nice, but they're not perfect. They're not pristine. BF Goodrich tires, he said, doesn't even have 2,500 miles on them. Uh, the weather strips look like they've been replaced. The stainless trim looks like that's all been replaced. The door handles look new. And in back, the bumpers, bumper, emblems, all that looks really nice. So really a sharp looking car, really nice shape. Let's open it up. I got a lot to tell you about under that hood. All right, we're gonna show you a nice solid trunk compartment. 
Looks like he did paint under the trunk lid and put the stickers on. He left the jams original, door jams and trunk jam. You can see the old paint, it's clean, nice factory spot welds, so it's nice, but he didn't paint them. But if you wanted to do that, here's the paint for it right here. Uh, rally wheel spare with a good tire. The jack is underneath there, even the lug wrench. All clean, solid metal in here. Uh, weather strip was replaced. So a good, solid trunk compartment, complete with jack and spare. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon if you want to be notified as the new videos are posted. Yeah, door jams are real clean and solid. Bottom of the door is real nice. The paint's very presentable, but again, he did not repaint them at the same time as the car. Weather strips are replaced, although that one's a little twisted on the driver's door. Door panels are in good shape. Uh, he did put some extra black screws around the edges to hold it tight. Armrests look really good. The dash is real nice. The dash pad's probably been replaced. It has the instruments, the factory tack, gauges. Also has some blue LED lights to light them up. Also has an aftermarket stereo, and then it has some extra gauges underneath. Some people put those in, they just find that they're more reliable than the factory gauges. And the glove box is the owner's manual. There's kick panel speakers, you got nice carpet, embroidered floor mats. Uh, he's attached a cup holder on the side of the console. The console looks to be in really nice shape. Here's four speed. Both front seats are recushioned and reupholstered. Really great shape. Headrests are recovered. Backs are in good shape. So the back seat looks like it's reupholstered as well. Complete set of original seat belts. Oh, and he thought of the rear passengers, gave them cup holders as well. Side panels, all that's in really good shape. Got some six by nine speakers in the back too. Headliner's real nice. Put a blue bulb in the dome light too. Visors have been redone, mirrors replaced. So like the exterior of the car, it's got some really nice features and I'm gonna say it's very good shape. It's not perfect, but real nice. Steering wheel's original, has a couple cracks right there. And he said the motor is like a 10 grand rebuild. It is rebuilt to LS6 specs. Uh, motor is blueprinted and balanced. And I'm holding a pile of paperwork here. This is mostly pertaining to the motor. Even the balance uh, specs are in here and the cam and everything you want to know about that motor is in this paperwork. Uh, it is a 454, making at least 450 horsepower. Uh, it has the GM LS6 intake on top. Also has the rectangle port heads like an LS6 would have. Uh, and he says they're LS6 exhaust manifolds as well. And then everything inside is completely redone. You know, it's got a little bit hotter cam. And then on top is chrome valve covers and the complete cowl induction system. Air gets fed in through there and there's a little solenoid and a vacuum pod that opens it and lets the air into the engine. And then we have factory air conditioning in a 454. Uh, this is an extra vacuum reservoir because of the cam that's in there. You need a little extra vacuum for the power brakes. We have a Delco battery topper, upgraded aluminum radiator, complete with the shroud. Alternator looks new. Water pumps aluminum. Uh, classic auto air updated you know, AC system, power steering, power brakes, new wiper motor, squirters are hooked up. So again, has some really desirable features. LS6 built motor, air condition, power steering, power brakes. Is it perfect? No. Is it very good? Absolutely. Caleb's going to take you for a drive, show you what this 454 will do.
Jay gets to do the test drive. Caleb's out sick. Bad for Caleb, good for me. I just love shifting gears. Can't get that in today's cars. Got all the specs on the motor, what type of cam, the rods, pistons, all that stuff. It's all in the paperwork. This thing was blueprinted and balanced. Got the LS6 heads, intake, exhaust. Let's see if it has LA6 power. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's fun. Just seeing the car jump up, shifting the gears, hearing the sound. The car drives really well. Look at that, no hands. Now it's just cruising. Smooth, comfortable. No squeaks, rattles, or shakes. It's got great oil pressure. Only about 1,500 miles on the engine. Oh, that was fun. See you back in the studio. So underneath the car is real solid. The floors, the braces, the inner rockers all look dry and clean. It all looks like original metal to me. Uh, this has the F41 suspension. Uh, front and rear sway bars with boxed rear control arms. Uh, he said he had the front end uh, rebuilt not that long ago. Uh, it's got a nice sounding dual exhaust system. Uh, brakes were redone. Matter of fact, I just called the gentleman that we bought it from, and he's owned it over 20 years, and uh, I couldn't get him off the phone. He still loves his car, and... And he sat there telling me all about it, and the longer we talked, the more things he would mention, like, oh, yeah, and the brakes were redone, and, oh, I replaced the radiator, and, you know, the list just kept going. Uh, but he's very proud of this car, <clears throat> and he should be. Uh, so, yeah, clean, solid. You look up at the motor, it's clean. It's an M21 Muncie 4 speed that's in there. Uh, the rear end is a 12-bolt 331 Posi. Uh, so I asked him, is it a posse? He said, yeah, I'll leave two black patches on the ground. So go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman to help answer any other questions, including how you get this delivered and how you get that financing done. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.